Ryan Garcia says he wants boots in his necks. <laughs> so Ryan Garcia is going up to 147. You know, I congratulate Ryan Garcia on beating Devin Haney. But that don't mean I respect Ryan Garcia's boxing skills. And that don't mean that he's still uh, a mental case. <sighs> what it does, it, 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 it really exposed Devin Haney for not having no type of chin whatsoever. And I'm the one, and I'm the one to go with skills win fights, not weight. I will always go with that. Skills win fights, not weight. Especially when you, when you're so close in weight, I don't. I, I'm not buying it. People are talking about how them three pounds made a difference. I'm not buying it. I'm with what Mayweather says. Skills win fights, not weight. You know what I'm saying? So uh, kill kill that noise when it comes when you coming over here talking that kill that noise. You know. Uh, Devin Haney just was over uh, overconfident. He was super overconfident and undervalued Ryan Garcia. And Devin Haney should have knew better. They done fought three, what, six times, three times or whatever. Devin Haney should have known better. He way over, he thought he was going to bully uh, Ryan Garcia. He didn't, he didn't have no regard for that left hook, which almost knocked him out in the first round. So, Devin got what he deserved. Um, you live and you learn. Devin Haney can come back. You live and you learn, bro. You, you, you made stupid decisions. You were stupidly overconfident. And Ryan just played it masterfully. Call him a mental case. Call him what you will. But the boy's strong. Devin Haney ain't known for punching hard. Uh, Ron Garcia's fast. Faster than Devin. And Devin just came with a stupid game plan. Him and his dad came with a stupid game plan. Thought they was going to bully Ron. They bullied Ron all the way up uh, during the pre-fight. You know, during during the uh, during the way, during, you know, during the build up for the fight, bullied Ryan. Ryan looked fragile during the build up. But Devin's chin was really the one that was fragile. Congrats to Ryan Garcia, man. I say it again. Master plan. Beautiful master plan. And I and I don't think Derrick James had anything to do with Ryan Garcia winning. Devin you know what I'm saying? I don't. Ryan Garcia wasn't even listening to Devin James. You know, uh, at at the end of the rounds, I don't think he was because Devin James was telling Ryan to jab, keep that jab out there. Ryan wasn't doing that shit. Ryan was doing his own thing. Ryan half ass train. This is just this is just sickening. How Ryan won this fight, man, it's really sickening. You know what I'm saying? The, he won, but I don't think he was the better. Well, I, yeah, he wasn't the better fighter, but he won pretty pretty much. Devin has the better accomplishments. And this is just sickening to see this upset. This upset is, I'm very upset about this. But I never liked Devin Haney. Fighting Ryan Garcia anyway, because I felt like he was cherry picking Ryan. So um, this is all whack. This is all thrown out of whack. He thought he was going to have an easy fight. Thought he was going to get a lot of views, pay per views. Thought he was going to get an easy fight, an easy win. And oh boy, did the tables turn on on Devin Haney? Oh my God, it made Devin Haney look like shit. I don't even want to see Devin Haney fight again, man, for a minute. You know, this fight made me don't even want to watch Devin Haney again, bro. 
You know, I never was a big Devin Haney fan anyway. He fight with two left feet, like Blood Boxing said he do. He ain't nowhere near Floyd. I get agitated when people talk about, he next Floyd, he Carver Carver Floyd. How the fuck he ain't? I don't see nothing he does that that, that uh, reminds me of Floyd. Nothing. Nothing. He's a stiff boxer. Anyway, man, I, I'm getting agitated, man, talking because Ryan shouldn't have won that fight. And but Devin champ, Devin should have fought a better, a smarter fight. You know what it was with Devin? They was they was they was starting to feel the pressure. Him and his dad that he's a boring fighter. The fan, you know, they starting to let they start to let the trolls get to them, to them. They started. Letting the trolls get to them saying, oh, Devin boring, Devin this, Devin Ryan. Ryan's the one. And Ryan was really the one selling the fight. Promoting the fight. I, I, I wouldn't say selling. I'd say promoting the fight. Or doing whatever he do. Putting attention on put, putting attention on the fight. At least Ryan was doing that. Devin wasn't doing nothing. If it weren't for Ryan with all his accolades, nobody would have showed up to this fight. You know, so shout out to Ryan for even that, for for putting, for even promoting the fight. De and, and I guess all the trolls was getting to Devin and Bill Haney, talking about he ain't had a knockout in so many years. So they was under pressure. They felt the pressure to perform. They felt the pressure to get a knockout. Devin felt he was gonna come in, thought he was gonna be strong like he was in the Regis fight. Underestimated how strong Ryan was going to be. Ryan played chess. Devin was playing checkers. Brilliant, man. Whether purposely or not, brilliant. And Ryan was going having all anxiety throughout the build-up. It just don't make any sense. Don't make any sense. What I think, Ryan didn't believe in himself until he landed that hook. Then he believed. Once Ryan landed that hook, he believed. Once he wobbled Devin, he believed in himself then. That's when he really started. Then that's when he gained confidence. That's when he gained confidence. When he hit Devin with that goddamn hook and hurt Devin the first freaking round, bruh. Oh, my God. Devin let us all down so hard, bro. Let us down, Devin. You came in overcome. You let us down, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna front. You let us down. You should have been better than that. You should have been better than that. If you got a box, you just got to be who you are. You know that that that's what happened. He let the people get to him. You know what I'm saying? You got to be strong minded, not weak minded. But it is what it is, man. Anyway, uh, Ryan Garcia calls out Boots Ennis. Um, Ryan Garcia feeling himself now. But I, 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 I admire Ryan Garcia for, for taking the hard fights, for for calling out. You know what I'm saying? For 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 uh, challenging these tough opponents. I wouldn't be surprised if he called out Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia will do that. There's no limit to the opponents Ryan will face, it seems like. Hell, he might call out Canelo. The man crazy, but I like that kind of crazy because he got guts. He ain't pussy like Tank. I don't, I don't respect. I used to be a big fan of Tank, but Tank pussy to me, man. I, 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 can't, I can't deal with the pussiness of Tank. I can't deal with that shit. But Ryan Garcia, man, has my respect now. I, I, you know, has my admiration. Even though he may be crazy, I, at least he's the one stepping up. At least Ryan Garcia is the one saving boxing. At least while all these other fools want to cherry pick, including Devin Haney, thought he had a cherry. Cherry went wrong. Cherry gone wrong. And Tank, you next. With all your cherries, you're going to have a cherry gone wrong too. 
You know what I mean? But anyway, Ron Garcia calling out Boots Ennis. Now, Boots Ennis ain't Devin Haney. Boots Ennis got power. Boots Ennis can knock Ryan out in the first round. He really can knock Ryan out in the first round. Boots Ennis really got power. That you going to another level, Ryan, fighting Boots Ennis. And I wanna I wanna see it. Because Ryan um uh, wanna wanna step up. Well Boots Ennis gonna gonna oblige you, Ryan. Step on up. Step on up, Ryan, and I and, and, and See, Ryan disrespected, man. You know, Ryan shouldn't have won this fight last night. Now, let him do that same crap, that half-ass training with Boots Ennis. Let him do all them stupid tactics with Boots Ennis. You know what I'm saying? And we'll see what's going to happen to Ryan Garcia. I'm really predicting Ryan to get knocked out in the first round with Boots. Now, Ryan got that left hook now. Yeah, he can catch Boots with that left hook. You know, still, that that left hook is dangerous. But uh, I still got Boots in his destroying Ryan Garcia. Boots is faster than Devin. Devin didn't want no part of Boots in his. Boots is faster. Boots is uh, stronger. I, hell, he may be he, him and Ryan. May, he may be faster than Ryan. Boots pretty quick. Bigger, stronger than Devin. Bigger, stronger than Ryan. Also, so uh, yeah, I, I want to see that fight. Since Ryan want to call out Boots in his, okay, I want to see that fight, Ryan. I got Boots knocking you out. First from one to three rounds again. You know, I want to see that. I want. I, I hope y'all make that fight. Cause Ryan need to get taught a lesson. Disrespecting himself, did disrespecting the boxing, coming in half ass in shape, not making weight, doing all these crazy tactics. You got lucky with with Devin Haney. You got lucky with Devin, but don't let this go to your head thinking this is what you can do. To win all your fights. Because uh, I think Boots Ennis going to uh, bring you back to reality, Ryan Garcia. So I'm, 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 hope, I'm hopeful that they'll make that fight. Can't wait to see it, man. Till then, peace.